Hi, Assalamualaikum and a very good morning. So today we're going to do uh, chapter 11, which is amine. And we're going to focus on the subtopic of 11.4, which is the preparation of amine. So in this video, we're going to explain the preparation of the aromatic amine by the reduction of nitro compound, which is the nitro benzene. Also, we're going to see the reduction of the nitro compound in order to produce the primary aliphatic amine. Next, we're going to reduce amide in order to produce the primary, secondary, or tertiary amines. Last but not least, we're going to do the Hoffman degradation of the primary amide in order to produce either primary alkyl or the aryl amines. Alright, so without any further ado, let us start. So for the reduction of nitrobenzene, what we need is the reactant of nitrobenzene. And the reagent that we need in order to reduce nitrobenzene is the zinc in acidic condition or the stannum dichloride in acidic condition or ferrum in acidic condition. So, SN here refers to stannum, or it is equivalent to tin. Okay, so this is called as the tin dichloride, or in the periodic table, they're going to use SN, which is refers to stannum. Okay, so don't be confused with TiCl2, because Ti here is not refers to tin. Ti refers to titanium. Okay. So ensure that you don't uh, write TiCl2 because TiCl2 is wrong. Okay, so reactant uh, of nitrobenzene when reacted with the reducing agent of these three will produce an aromatic amine, which is refers to aniline. Okay, so the general reaction here, let's say if you have a nitrobenzene and you react that with a zinc at acidic condition, what you're going to produce is an aniline. Okay, now let us look into another example. Let's say if you have a nitrobenzene, but now you use a different reducing agent, for example, a ferrum in acidic condition. So nitrobenzene gonna be reduced into NH2, which is the aniline here. Okay, at the same time, you can also uh, do the reduction of the 1,2-dinitrobenzene. So this one is a nitrobenzene. And this is carbon number one, and this is carbon number two. So it's going to be one, two, nitrobenzene. And then let's say if you use a reducing agent of the tin dichloride in the presence of H, plus, which is an acidic condition, what's going to happen is that the NO2 here is going to be changed into NH2 and the same to NH2 here. Okay, so it's going to be aniline okay, at carbon number one, and here is carbon number two. So it's going to become two amino. Aniline. Now we're going to do, look into the next preparation, which is the reduction of the nitrile. Okay, so the reactant that we need is the nitrile compound, and the reagent that we use in order to reduce the nitrile is the uh, hydrogen gas with catalyst. So, catalyst here you can use platinum, or you can use platinum, or you can use nickel, either one of those. Okay, and this happens in the presence of hydrogen. Or you can use the lithium aluminium hydride followed by hydrolysis, which is H3O plus, or you can use H2O with H plus. Okay, and you can also use a sodium borohydride in methanol. Okay, so methanol here can also be written as CH3OH. Okay, so the general reaction of the natural compound is RC triple bond N. Okay, so it's going to be R C triple N, triple bond N. Okay, so this is known as the nitrile compound. And what we're going to produce at the end is the primary aliphatic amine. So it's going to produce a primary aliphatic amine because the CN is always at the end of the carbon chain. Okay, so let's say if you have a nitrile compound here, and then you're going to react that with the hydrogen in the presence of catalyst of platinum, what you're going to produce is a CH, CH, and then NH2 and NH2. Okay, so the C gonna have two attached with two hydrogen. Same goes to the nitrogen. So here reduction has happened, and then you're gonna form a primary aliphatic amine. Okay, now let us look into another example. So let's say if you have a nitrile compound with three carbon here. So when you react that with Nabiha, okay, Nabiha or sodium borohydride in methanol, so what you're going to produce is here, you're going to produce a primary amine. So you're going to produce CH 
and CH here, and here gonna become NH2. Okay, so CH, CH, and NH2. So here's referred to a primary aliphatic amine because the nitrogen are gonna attach with one alkyl group. Okay, and then next um, you have a cyclic cyanide compound, and then you're gonna react it with lithium aluminium hydride followed by hydrolysis. So the same goes to here, it will gonna become CH2 and NH2 here. Okay? So it will gonna be reduced into forming a primary aliphatic amine. Okay? And look at here, which is nitrile, it's gonna reduce using lithium aluminium hydride and hydrolysis, which is H2O and H plus. Now, we're going to do the reduction of amides. Okay, so this is the preparation number three. Okay, and for the, react for the reactant for the reduction of amide, we need either primary, secondary, or tertiary amide. And the reagent that we need to use is the lithium aluminum hydride followed by hydrolysis using water. So here you need to use water, not H3O plus for the reduction of amide. Okay, so just now, we use H3O plus because this one is a nitrile. Okay, this one is uh, preparation number two. So here we use, we, we are having the acidic condition, but for amide, we don't have the acidic condition. We only use neutral, which is the water here. Okay, this is because your amide, so your amide here, you, you will have an NH2 group. Okay, so this is your amide. Okay, let's say if you have a primary amide, primary amide, so the NH2 here gonna react as a base, act as a base. So when you have acid, the reaction gonna happen as the step of neutralization. So this is not what we wanted. Okay, because we want it to be a reduction, therefore we need to use water as a neutral solvent. Okay, so really need to be careful here. Okay, so for the general reaction, we can say that the primary amide can be reduced using lithium aluminum hydride followed by hydrolysis, which is using water, in order to produce a primary amine. Okay, and as what you can see here, from the C double bond O, when it's being reduced, it's going to become CH and CH, which is a primary amine. Okay, now, here, is an amide. However, the nitrogen is attached with one, two, and three alkyl group. So, this amide here gonna be a tertiary amide, and then it gonna be reduced using lithium aluminum hydride using water. Okay, not acidic. H3O plus. Okay, so from a tertiary amide, it gonna form a tertiary amine. Okay, and the same thing from C double bond O, it's going to become CH and CH here. Okay, so you know that the reduction has happened and then the tertiary amine is going to be produced. Okay, now let us look into the example here. So, um, here is a primary amide because the nitrogen is attached with one alkyl group and this is the amide group. Okay. And this nitrogen is attached with one big uh, alkyl group here. Okay, so this is a primary amide. And then it's going to react with a reducing agent, which is the lithium aluminum hydride. And I said, and as I mentioned, amide uses H2O. Okay, so the C double bond O is going to become CH and CH. And this is going to produce a primary amine. And now, we're going to look into this structure here. So here, uh, we're going to have an amide functional group. Okay. So here is the amide functional group because CN. And then the N here going to be attached with one and two alkyl group. So it's going to be a secondary amide. So from secondary amide, it's going to form secondary amine. So we're going to use the lithium aluminum hydride followed by water, which is the hydrolysis without acid. And the C double bond O is going to become CH here. Okay, the others will just copy back. 
Okay, so C double bond O changes into C H H. Okay, so let me rub off this part. Okay, so what what changes is C double bond O become C H H. The others are still maintained, and hence we can produce a secondary amine. Okay. Now we're gonna go into the last uh, preparation, which is using the Hoffman degradation of amine. So the reactant that we need is a primary amide, and the reagents that we use in order to degrade amides is using chlorine or bromine in either sodium hydroxide or potassium hydroxide solution. Okay, so the meaning of Hoffman degradation, degrade maksudnya turun. Okay, adanya penurunan. So here, what we're going to see is that it's going to have a reduction of pengurangan satu carbon chain. Okay, so we're going to eliminate one carbon chain and it will become shorter. Okay, and the product that we can form is either primary aromatic amines or the primary aliphatic amine, depending on what type of reactant. Okay, if, it is, if our reactant is primary aromatic amide, we're going to produce primary aromatic amine. If our reactant is primary aliphatic amides, we're going to produce primary aliphatic amine. Okay, so the general reaction here, so this is the structure of amides. Okay, so amine is like this. Okay, amides is when it has C double bond O attached with NH2. Okay, so this is known as amide. Amine is without the C double bond O. Okay, so you need to know the difference, okay? Now, um, this is uh, known as a primary amide because this nitrogen here is attached with one big alkyl group. And then we're going to undergo Hoffman degradation of amide where we're going to use the reagent of bromine in the presence of NaOH aqueous solution. And what we're going to produce, what we're going to eliminate is C double bond O here going to be removed. And the R and NH are going to combine together in order to form a primary amine. So as what you can see here, we're going to eliminate one carbon chain. And we're going to have the byproduct of carbon dioxide and sodium bromide. But the byproduct here is not important for our synthesis. Okay, so the important stuff here is the primary amine. Okay. So what you can see here is that the carbonyl group from the amide, okay, the carbonyl group from the amide is removed and the primary amine is formed. Now we're gonna do a more example. So let's say if you have a primary aliphatic amide, so it is a carbon chain and then it is an amide group. So when you react with the Hoffman degrad degradation reagent, which is the chlorine, with the presence of NaOH. What you're gonna do is you're gonna remove the C double bond O here, and then you're gonna produce a primary aliphatic amine. Okay, so you can add up aliphatic amine. Okay, so as what you can see, the C double bond O gonna be removed and it gonna shorten the length of the carbon chain by one carbon atom. Now the below here refers to a primary aromatic amide because the amide group attached directly with the benzene ring, okay, which is an aromatic ring. So when we react with bromine in the presence of KOH, what we're going to do is we're going to remove C double bond O, and then the NH2 going to attach directly with the benzene ring. So what we're going to produce is a primary aromatic amine, or known as the aniline. Okay, and remember, the elimination of one carbonyl group will shorten the length of the carbon chain by one carbon atom. Alright? Now we're going to do the example equation. So let's say if we have the structure P, Q, and R, and then it's going to produce an amine here. So we have to draw the structure of P, Q, and R. Okay? And our product here is the primary amine because the nitrogen here is attached with one big alkyl group. So you're going to be a primary amine. Okay, now you're going to identify P. So you can look at the reagent here. So it uses lithium aluminum hydride. So you know that it is a reduction. And then it uses H2O. So remember when I see using H2O, you know that it is a reduction of amides. 
okay because m right must use h2o okay and because it is a primary amine so you know that it is a primary amide okay so the structure that we will expect to get is h and h c double bond oxygen h c ch3 and then the propyl group uh, the cyclopropyl group because the c double bond o is going to be reduced into ch2 here okay sorry this one h okay so we have one two carbon which is one two carbon and then ch3 here and the cyclopropyl here so what we're going to get is this structure here Okay, so the C double bond O can be reduced in order to form CH2 here. Okay. Okay, now we're going to look into the, we're going to identify the structure Q. So Q uses Cl2 and KOH. So Cl2 and KOH, there is only one type of uh, preparation, which is the Hoffman degradation reaction. Okay, so the Hoffman degradation reaction is going to eliminate one carbon chain, right? Kita akan kurangkan satu. Jadi, for our reactant, kita kena tambah satu um, satu carbon chain. Yang mana uh, carbon chain kita mesti mesti C double bond O. Because we're going to eliminate that in order to produce CH2. So, um, for Q, what we can do is that we can add up CH2, C double bond O here, in between the NCO, and then attach with the other stuff okay so i'm going to try it here so we're going to start with one two and three carbon chain and then this is our amide and then the product here going to have two carbon chain so you know that hoffman degradation so degradation maksudnya kita buang c double bond o then dia akan jadi ch2 and ch3 here so daripada tiga menjadi dua carbon Okay, so our structure gonna look something like this. Okay, and now for the structure R here, so we're gonna use hydrogen in the presence of platinum catalyst. So for this one, you know that it is a reduction of the nitrile compound. So nitrile must be rather the hujo. So what you can draw is that you can expect it to be um, C CH3. And then you're going to have your substituents here, H, and then C, triple bond with N. Okay, because when cyanide is reduced, it's going to form NH2, and then the triple bond C here going to form CH2 here. So your structure is going to be looking something like this. Okay, so when it is reduced, it's going to become NH and CH2 as shown in the structure here. Alright, so I think that's all for today's video. See you again some other time. Bye!